More than $15.3 trillion. Now, that mind-blowing number is the current national debt. And guess what? By the time on the record is over, that number will be higher. So how do we even begin to pay it down? Well, a group of freshman members of Congress are at least trying and setting an example. Congressman Jeff Landry joins us. Good evening, sir. Good evening. All right. I have seen a copy of this letter that you have written, the Speaker of the House banner, um, about uh, something you want to do. Right. Well, well um, you know, after discussing with other freshman members of Congress who recognized that we had combed through our budget, we had lived within our means, and a number of us had a surplus at the end of last year. And so we all got together and said, why don't we do a, a press conference and show America that we're leading by example, and then ask the speaker to take uh, that money and apply it to the debt. Uh, and again, it's just, you know, it's, it's part of, of matching our action with our rhetoric. All right, so it's $1.4 million in unused personal office funding that you want to turn right back into the Treasury. That's correct. Well, we want to turn it. We want, we want to apply it to the debt. Apply it to that. All right. Well, the sort of the interesting thing is that in this letter, it says, we understand that regular order prescribes the unused portions of our MRAs, that's the money, to languish in a shared fund for two years before being transferred to the Treasury. So if you want to return your money to pay off the debt, it's got to languish someplace for two years unless you get special dispensation. Right. Now, I didn't set that up. Oh, I didn't. Oh, oh no. I was not suggesting. No, I'm just saying how insane it is. I mean, here you guys. Right. I, 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 I was behind you on it, not criticizing you. Yeah, yeah, no, again, you know, Greta, at the end of the day, I think Americans want to be shown that Washington can do just what everybody else does. They can live within a means, they can live within a budget. I mean, think about what we did. Think about what those freshmen did. They basically, we took a 5% cut at the beginning and came back and saved an additional 12% out of that budget. I mean, if all of the federal agencies would do that, we'd be on the road to getting somewhere. Well, you know what the worst part is that most people, when they get to the end of the year and they find that they have some extra money, how much are you turning over? $160,000. Okay. Most people take that $160,000, suddenly you have new carpets, new computer terminals, um, your travel budget be increased. I mean, that's the problem is that most people, when they find out they have that cushion, will spend we'll it. We'll try to spend it. That's yeah. exactly right. But what do families and what do businesses do out there? What they do at the end, businesses will it's look at it's it. not other people's money. Well, exactly. But what they'll do is they'll look at it and they'll say, well, we have some debt and we've got some profit. So we apply that profit to the debt to reduce our debt in our businesses. And families do the same thing as well. They pay more down on their credit card. Again, this is about America that we can live by the same set of principles as that. Look, when I got to Washington, I declined my congressional health care and retirement. Again, just showing people that we can live by those did, means. Did you shortchange yourself in your office? Today? I mean, like in any ways, like, I mean, you effectively ran your office and still saved this money, right? I mean, you didn't, you didn't like, That's correct. So you didn't suffer. No, but, but most of the, look, most, almost all of the members that did the press, uh, uh, that were part of the press conference today were business owners. We have to do it. it, it we have to do that. It comes natural to us to save money, to go and try to uh, produce a product for less. Why can't why can't do how why can't you do that with the national budget? Well, that's what we're hoping to do. We're hoping to show uh, other people in Washington that it can be done. I mean, look, if, if everyone did that, if the agency, if the president took our our lead and looked at his budget and said, you know, if those seven eight freshmen can do it, he could do it. I mean, again, we'd be getting somewhere in this country. Well, um, good luck. I hope you keep it up, and I hope that they speed it up so that money doesn't languish someplace uh, and it can immediately go down to paying down the debt. Nice well, to see you, sir. Thank you.